from the Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first. Well, good evening, everyone. A look outside will show you that things are much calmer and clearer than we have been. Sky Tracker not really bouncing around there in Midland, but things are very clear out there. You can even see stars here on the Sky Tracker network. But thanks to that Sky Tracker network, you got a good look at those conditions and get used to those clear skies and warmer temperatures going to be on the way soon. Now, a look at the radar shows you that things are clear and that cloud cover hanging out to our west really shouldn't be affecting us at all. Definitely not going to bring any rain or anything of that sort. We should just be seeing if we do get clouds, high altitude clouds are not going to bring any sort of problems here in West Texas. Calm conditions we just saw in the Sky Tracker, things really calming down after a very windy weekend. 82 miles per hour wind gusts in Guadalupe Pass. Those have since calmed down. That's the good news. A mild start to the week. We'll see those temperatures increase by the time we get to Wednesday. It's going to feel like summer out there, actually, getting really, really hot for the this time of year. We are seeing kind of a cool down in the past 24 hours. We're down four degrees here in Odessa and Midland, six in Big Spring, seven up in Snyder. And you can see the whole area, Marfa being the one exception, seeing a cool down from where we were 24 hours ago. Don't expect that to continue through the week though, as things will get warmer. We'll see temperatures tomorrow, kind of what we saw today, 62 the high today. That's above our normal just by a few degrees there, but I expect that to continue tomorrow as we see highs in the 60s again. That low temperature just dipping down below freezing there, 32 the normal, 31 our recorded low again. Expecting some similar temperatures for tomorrow. Let's take a look at it right now. You can see things across the area in the 40s. We will start cooling down here and get into the 30s around freezing by the time we get to our lowest or coldest point of the morning. 34 for this model. I'm thinking it's going to be at freezing 32 degrees tomorrow morning, but you can see some cooler temperatures up in the northern basin and warmer temperatures there in the Trans Pecos. Now, the morning commute going to be looking a little chilly around 40 degrees, but we should be reaching the afternoon highs about 3 p.m. here, a high of 60 for Odessa and Midland. This model running just a tad warm there, but I do expect a lot of these temperatures to be pretty persistent. 66 there in Pecos and 61 in Alpine. So some warmer temperatures definitely than our normal temperatures, but things going to be looking like record breaking once we get into the middle of the week. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. That's the good news. Just a few clouds in the morning if we do see any clouds. Again, those winds staying calm as well. And that seven day forecast going to be looking really clear. Now I'm going to play through this loop for you on our model, but you're not going to see a whole lot of changes. The satellite and radar is going to be pretty clear. Clouds staying at a minimum as well. That seven day forecast again. We're going to heat up, but it is going to come at a price. 78, the high on Wednesday, will cool down immediately after that to 69, and then down to 43 by the time we get to next week, 23 the low on Sunday morning for next week, John. I know that some people are looking forward to those warmer temperatures. 78 degrees is going to feel like summer out here. I know. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's a price to pay with a really cool weekend. I'm going to just have to go to Walmart or something and get one of those blow up pools yeah. and make a day of it. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, with 78 degrees in February, what else can you do? That's I'll the best way it. to do it. Yeah.